Did Kyle Shanahan get his groove back? I don't know. I mean, look, he got his run game going. I like his run game. All of a sudden, he's figured out some things that work with Elijah Mitchell. The tosses and the counters. He's good at that stuff. Also, everything to the left. Whenever it, whenever you're running to the left, it works. But can we just can I just remind you real quick? I hate to be a downer, but the 49ers were losing at halftime. They had nine points at halftime. It was 13 to 9 at halftime. So I think it's hard to say that Kyle Shanahan got his groove back when he was going up against a toothless Bears defense that was missing Khalil Mack, and he had nine points at halftime. Everything changed when Debo Samuel made a hero's play and took a screen pass for 83 yards on third and 20. And then, you know, the other thing is like the Bears are awful. And what the Niners essentially did in this game was they didn't beat themselves. Give Jimmy Garoppolo credit for that. He didn't turn the ball over. Give Kyle Shanahan credit for that. He didn't have like any of these really weird decisions or game managing gaffes. The Niners didn't beat themselves, and they they let the Bears beat themselves because the Bears freaking stink. And they pulled away at the end, but this was a close game until Debo Samuel. The the Niners were losing. The the Bears were in control of the game until Debo Samuel flipped it. And then as the Niners had a little bit of a lead, the Bears pretty much panicked and blew it, Uh, which is all all credit to the 49ers. They're not as bad as the Bears. That's a very low bar. And when you look, when you lose four in a row, you're starting to question how bad is this freaking team? Not that bad, not as bad as the Bears. That's a good thing. Um, but I'm not going to say he's gotten his groove back or he's off the hot seat. What did he prove today? That he can beat the Bears. I I'm glad. Again, I felt like this was a game where if he lost it, you're talking about dude. You can't come on. You you. We're going to fire you, but you have to drive back to Santa Clara. Or you got to take Southwest with Grant. You have to sit next to Grant on United and and listen to him tell you what you're doing wrong. That's your punishment. And then we'll talk about firing you. So he, he, didn't, he avoided that. But uh, let's see him get some touchdowns before halftime. Let's see him beat a team that's going to the playoffs. So far, so far this season, the Niners have beaten – the Lions, who haven't won a game. The Eagles, who just beat the Lions today, Sunday. And this dreadful team in Chicago. Um, now I see why Vish grew up in Chicago and, and roots for the 49ers. I mean, it seems like pe- – I, I don't know anything about Chicago. But it seems like the people out here have like an, an ironic af- affection for the team out here. Like, they know it stinks. They don't expect it to win. Uh they don't get down when it loses. They, It's kind of funny. Interesting. Chicago, I like it. Maybe Niner fans should be more like that. Anyway, Bears, not good. Kyle Shanahan, I wouldn't give him the full Stella. I wouldn't say he's Stella getting his groove back yet. Let's see him beat a divisional opponent, a playoff opponent first.